Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Mini Betrayal, and this is Factorio Megabase. And we've got a couple of things to do today. Oh, I'm missing something. A inserter. Um, okay, so while I grab that, I have done a little bit of work since the end of the last episode. So we'll go through what I have done. Um, so the reason I was missing something up here somewhere. Oh, I was missing a few of them, actually. There we go. Um is I have expanded red circuit production. Um, here I've added on another two um, modules of that. Over here, down this way, um, just to get myself some stuff, um, I have, oh, I'll turn those back on now, I've finished doing what I wanted. Uh, just a little bit of uh, speed module production. That's just for my own use. So in fact, I will turn those back off because I've decided I don't need them. You can live there. Uh, yeah, so that's just making me some level three speed modules, which is why I increased red circuit production. Um, so I've also added in over here, um, just to balance red circuits onto both sides of the belt. Uh, that puts it back on just one side of the belt because there's no point filling up the whole thing for blue science. Um, and over here, again, rebalancing on both sides of the belt. Looks a bit janky with the way it sort of curls around the, um, the sulfur there, but there you go. And the red circuits now come down this way where they split. Some of it just goes on. The rest of it comes here and then supplements this red circuit production, which would otherwise be enough only to feed the blue circuit production. The rest of it goes towards my speed modules. Uh, other little bits I have done, um, I made myself a few more legs, so this is not fast enough to charge and run fast at the same time. If I look at my battery level there down at the bottom right, you can see we are down 93% and dropping, um, but it helps me move around just a little bit faster. So we'll come down here to Cover X. This is my um, Uranium-235 production, so I'll put those back on while I'm here. Um, we are doing much better. We've filled up to here. Uh, let's do another little bit of rebalancing. Um, just get the last few of these machines up and actually running. Uh, so let's put some in there, and some in there, and some in there, and some in there. Oh, and I need just a few more to get the last one switched on. Um, yoink. And yoink. That should be enough. It was not enough. And yoink. Okay, so that's all the cover X running, uh, which means I can now take out these speed modules because... Um, well... I guess I could leave them in, actually. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of difference at this point, though. I just put them in to help me sort of fill up the machine a bit faster and that sound effect getting louder and quieter is weird. Okay, so that'll take some time to fill up. Um, you know, some of them have got as many as 14 in them. Uh, remember, we'll only start getting some of the 235 out here once this belt here is completely backed up. Um, but I was having a look earlier when you know just a few of these were running the overflow system on the 238 works fine um if not this episode then later i will show you that in action uh, i meant to show it to you before so many of these switched on and we were using the 238 but there you go um yeah so actually these ones at the end will probably switch off after a while because at the moment half of the 238 is being diverted to storage so only about half of these will run, but it will get there eventually. All right, so today, oh, that's nice, that's quieter. We need to find some stone. In fact, are all of these switched off? Yes, we have zero stone production at the moment. Now we can go down there. We've got 25 million and change there. Got 20 million and change there, 6.5 there. Um, now there's a little bit of coastline down there and some over there that probably matches up but there might be some stone there so first thing oh, let's put my fast legs back on 
heading back up to base. Let's see if we're lucky enough to have some stone a little bit closer by. So I'm going to get in the car, grab my guns and ammo. Uh, oh, actually, where is my car? I thought I had it on me. Has anyone got good eyes? There it is. So, yeah, we'll fill up the car with ammunition, take the tank, all of that stuff. Uh, in fact, you've got ammunition in you, so we should be good to go now, actually. Okay, uh, just let my batteries fill up. Oh, that's not going to work because... There we go. So now the batteries should fill. Excellent. And we'll put the... Not the gun turrets. The personal laser defences in there. Now, actually, we want some legs, don't we? So let's have one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And three sets of legs. Yeah, so we can outrun the biters at least. Um, I'll keep some of them on me. Uh, we've got rocket fuel in the car, that's fine. I'll take some grenades. Okay, let's see if we can actually find a half-decent stone deposit. So, good news, bad news time. I've done a fair amount of exploring, this whole chunk down here, uh, which is nice. I've cleared out many, many biter bases. Um, bad news is, well, firstly, no stone, which is disappointing. Um, so all the way from up there, down here in this massive chunk, no stone. And secondly, I am running low on ammunition. So uh, I am going to take the car home and pick up some more. And uh, I'll probably pick up some more fuel as well. Uh, let's go. Well, this is interesting. So, hang on, let me just take care of these. So, I did actually find a little bit of stone in the end. 18 million all the way down there. Turns out this one over here has more stone and is actually closer. Um, and, yeah, we're really straying into, you know, nuclear weapon territory some weird map generation artifact here there's been a couple of minor updates but uh since i started playing on this map but i don't recall there being any map generation stuff because that is far too circular anyway let's um oh i've just seen this big thing up here let's see if we can get around this lake shed some light on that oh deep breath Oh! Stone! Aha! Th uh, not 32, 23 million of it. Whoops, let's... Um... Okay, so we've got some biters to clear up around here. Um, quite a lot of them, in fact. But we have found stone... It's not even that much closer than that. Ugh, fine. On the plus side, I did find a nice amount of oil as well, plus some... You know, other deposits here and there. Alright. Let's... Oh, there's a rock. Let's take care of these biters and we'll set up a base here. That's a problem. That's a problem. Damn. That tank had all my bullets in it. Huh. Um. All right. Hang on. All right. So I've just got back. I've made a couple of little changes. So let me just pick that up. Put down the tank. And yeah, so I have got some better bullets, some rocket fuel, and also, so this is my legs, or well, these are my legs, grammar is a thing apparently, 
Um, and if you remember that other power armor, yeah, I've I've put some um, I've put a few more personal laser defenses in that. So let's see if this goes any better. So it turns out when your bullets do three times as much damage and you've got um, more than twice as many lasers on you, things do indeed go better. All right, let's take care of these biotism. and we'll build this damn base on the stone. Oh, also, by the way, turns out there was another 10 million next to it, so I'll probably put a station somewhere in between those. That works out quite nicely. Whew. And with that, I think we are done clearing biters. So there are the two stone deposits, 10 million and 23 million. Uh, there's a nice big radius around them. I'm not certain exactly how much pollution this outpost is going to make, so we may have to push them back. Um, and I'm sure we will push the biters back eventually. Whoops, no, come back. Fine then. Put my legs back on. There we go. Um, right, so now I need to head back to base, get some outpost building materials. Uh, we'll use the car. I'm fast with my legs on, but not quite that fast. And we've used up almost all of those uranium rounds. Um, that's the one I want. All right, on the way back, uh, let's have a quick look at cover X. Um, so, yeah, this was the little setup I made just to make the uranium rounds, I would turn that on and put some normal bullets in there. And then that would just make me some uranium rounds as quickly as I could. Um, as I said, uh, we've settled down to about half of the um, actual Cover X machines working. Uh, the other half are starved for 238 because we're storing half of it, or turning half of it into bullets. Um, but we can see that Everything is now completely full of the 235, so we're getting some spillage coming around here. Um, now what we'll do, let's uh, let's follow this bit. So we've got uranium on both sides of the belt here, and I'll show you what happens when this gets to, uh, well, the other end. Alright, so as it comes round, you'll see that thanks to this belt here, um, we prioritise the inside lane of this loop. And the outside lane waits, and only when the inside lane is empty does that continue. So the inside lane, so that's the north belt, uh, sorry, it's the north side of the westbound belt and the south side of the eastbound belt, that is where these machines put their outputs, because remember inserters grab, um, they place things on the far side of the belt. Look, you can see this one here. No, oh, that one's finished. Uh, this one. No, that one's finished. This one. Placing things on the south side of the belt, the one, the side furthest away from it. Um, and because we're prioritizing taking in from that side, that means, um, these things here will always have somewhere to put their outputs. That's the idea of that. Um, yeah, so I hadn't necessarily intended it for it to get this backed up during the episode, but I spent um, far longer than I would like to admit exploring and killing biters. Uh, oh, there's a rock. There's still a rock. Um... Right, so yeah, eventually that will that whole belt will back up and we'll start having the 235 put in the box. Right, so I have gathered some stuff. Um, I probably don't have enough, but I guess we will see. Um, let's see, is the coal... no. Wait, which train is down there? That's the copper train. I'm going to borrow the copper train just to 
get in the vicinity of where I want to be, I think. So we'll hop in and we will just send it straight there. It's actually already most, it's, it's still mostly full, but it's quicker than running. All right, and I'm just going to hop out there. Uh, well, okay. I was going to have a T-junction there, but instead I think I will turn this into a T-junction. So, if I just grab that... Uh, I don't suppose that will just fit straight over there. No, it won't. All right, I'll let the copper train go back past and then I will redesign this junction. Well, re re redesign this curve and make it a junction. So that will go instead like that. Oh, and I should probably reattach that. Okay, great. So, um, oh, just in case you weren't aware, um, I've swapped out, I think that was a previously in the energy shield, just for a second RoboPort, so I can use all 50 of my robots at the same time. Right, so let's grab something like that. And make our way down to where we want to be. Alright, so I did run out of rail signals, but I got most of what I wanted there. Um, okay, so we've come down from there, across, up between these uh, coal and copper deposits, and up to here. So we'll run down, get that stone, run up, get this stone, and we'll feed it in to here. Uh, what am I missing? Oh yes, so a couple of other things. This one is going to be steel chests. And we're going to have the stack inserter. So this is going to be like a fully fledged proper station, I guess. Okay. Um, right. And this will want to be hooked up to power, of course. So I guess we should do that. Okay. This one is gathering stone. Um... What is a stone colour? That'll do as a stone colour, I think. Looks vaguely stonish. Okay, and that will be called... Not Copper Outpost 1. That will be called... Stone Outpost... Oops, not Outpot. Outpost 1. Great, and we need a train. Did I bring a train with me? be nice if I did but it appears not I don't see anything flashing there okay um, all right so back to base I guess I suppose I can build a train nah don't have the steel actually while we're down here because I'm missing a few things but I did bring uh, the miners with me so uh, let's put those down Right, now I wonder, can I just like, copy that, pop it down there? Yeah, that should get everything we need. Yeah, too easy. And how many columns is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. Alright, so are we missing anything? Um, looks like I might be out of medium electric poles. Unless I just got lucky with the number. Um, I know we'd be missing a couple down there, I think. Yeah, so we're definitely out of medium electric poles. Uh, we've got plenty of belts left, plenty of miners left. Okay, well let's... Um, let's go down to the other deposit and get that one set up with miners as well. Alright, so we're missing medium power poles and a couple of miners as well. Alright, well at least that gives me something to go and get. 
Right, so here we are back at base. Um, now, what was it we needed? We need uh, a couple more of them. I don't think we need as many as 50, so I'll just take a single stack. Uh, we need some of them. I wasn't sure exactly how many. Um, what else? I think I've got a radar on me, yeah, because we'll want to radar the outpost. In fact, I will take... Well, I don't think I'm manufacturing them anywhere, but I will craft another radar because we've actually got two um, two of the actual stone deposits and I don't think a single radar will cover them both. Uh, you know what? Just, just for fun, I will also craft a third. Uh, what else do we want down there? I uh, don't need any more rails, so they can go back in the box. Or boxes. Signals, that was it. Do I have any more signals in there? No. So I'll take a stack of those with me. Um, what else did we need? You know, I think it might have just been that. Uh, let's grab a locomotive and four cargo wagons then I can't help but get the feeling I'm gonna forget something all right well let's let's just go down there um, I feel like I might want to take more belts as well actually so I will just uh, where's my belts here they are Ooh, odd number. There we go. A thousand belts. That should be plenty to be getting on with. Right, so... I'll just set you to go to... Am I facing the wrong way? Yes, because I decided to do right-hand drive this time for some reason. There we go and stick in some of that and probably set it to automatic there we go that should get us there and there we are okay so we'll finish off putting in these last few signals there's a couple over there and there's a couple on the other side as well lovely okay and Um, what else did we want? Were there any... Yeah, there were some medium power poles up here, were there? There were definitely some down in the southern half, so we'll do that. Okay, I think that's everything. And down here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I can easily mix that one and that one, so we can have eight. Excellent. All right, let's mix it down to eight. I definitely should have bought more belts. Ugh, fine. Hang on. All right, so that's the belt work. Now, somewhat unsurprisingly, I ran out of underground belts and splitters. Uh, but you can see we've got eight belts coming in from the south. That goes through an 8-8 balancer. We've got seven belts coming in from the north, which also goes through an 8-8 balancer. And then this bit here mixes one belt from each north and south into or down into eight belts, which then just for good luck goes through an 8-8 balancer before being split into uh, each of the sides of the four cargo wagons, which I shall put down now. Uh, also, I will copy that colour across. Uh, could be a little greyer. Yeah, it'll do it. Okay, so um, this one is... Actually, yeah. We'll, we'll just take the train back. We'll grab some um, splitters and underground belts. And then we will make the other station because of course we'll need a station at which to drop off some stone as well 
So a little bit of back and forth in this episode. I have already been recording for nearly three and a half hours, thanks to all of that nonsense with the biters. Actually, while we're here, let's have a quick look at CoverX, because this looks like it's... Yeah, we're starting to get some times where it's backed up. We've already, in fact, we've already stashed uh, 207 of the Uranium-235. Yeah, you see, when this outer line backs up, it can sometimes... So, the inner loop, as I said, will never back up, but the outer loop will sometimes back up as far as this splitter which it looks... so oh, no, we just got away with it there. It probably will do when this line comes around. And we should see a couple of bits of the 235 go the other way. Because remember, the job over there always prioritizes the inner loop. Okay, here we go. We should get some outputs here. So this outer belt is backed up, and therefore we start throwing some towards our chest. Anyway, I was getting stuff. Alright, so back at the base train station. Uh, we could add another one higher up, um, but I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if I'll have enough room to get the belts round, so let's see. Would I have enough room to put something in there? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to do that. So if I just pop that there, and that just wants to be a normal belt, we'll do something essentially exactly the same as that. Similar to the actual outpost. Oh, actually, I don't need that because that's for coal only. I will need to get some coal down this way, though, so we'll sort that out in a second. But, um, yeah, I want steel chests. And I want this unloaded by stack inserters. Don't need another radar there. Probably don't need the lamp either. Eh, I'll leave the lamp. Okay, so this... Oh. We'll stick this down. Don't really need eight belts of stone coming in, but that's what we've got. Okay, so this is going to be not base coal drop-off. It's going to be base stone drop-off. And this wants to be the... Because, oops. That wants to be a forward slash. There we go. Okay, and then this train, instead of going to base coal drop-off, we want to go to base stone drop-off. That's going to stay there until it's full. And then it's going to stay here until it's empty. And inactivity of two seconds. I think that's what I have the other one set to. Yeah, empty in two seconds. And I'm just going to do that. Okay, and what else do I need? Oh yes, we need to actually get this to where it's going. So I'm going to take two of these lines, much like I have with the coal here. And then one of these lines is going up there. So that goes into the stone brick production. The other one of these lines... Uh, we'll hop under here, come along this way, and we'll join that one, which just goes straight up and into the bus as stone. Meanwhile, I can tidy this up. Okay, so I think... All that remains to be done now is to actually power the outpost, I think. Oh, no, because the train will also need some fuel, uh, which comes from up here somehow. So, yeah, from after doing that, we can hop under 
like that, I think. That should work. Not the most elegant solution, but an adequate solution. Oh. Speaking of trains out of fuel, damn it. <sighs> Fine. All right, let's give you some fuel. Okay, so you can continue on your way. And then we'll bring... Oh, yes, we need to finish off the belt work here. I've got a hundred of those things with me, and that wasn't enough. <sighs> Where's the train? Come back here. No. Alright, well, let's just power this. Okay, none of them are flashing, that's good. And we'll do the same down south. None of them are flashing. Good. How much pollution is that making? Mm, that's creeping out. Alright. So, we'll let the train come back here. It's on its way. We'll go home. We'll pick up the last few underground belts. We'll come back. We'll put them down. Then we'll go back to base again and make sure that it is all working. So according to this, we've got 56 underground belts we're missing. We're getting the first little bits of stone coming through. Well, actually, we're not because they're all ghosts. Uh, do we have any coming through from the south? Uh, can't see. Time to get the train home anyway. Alright, home please. Oh, actually, that should be an and. There we go. Oh, and I forgot to put radars down. When I get back, remind me to put radars down. Okay. Down here. Done. Up here. Done. Right, that should all be working now. <sighs> Let's fast forward this bit. Well, you get to. I have to sit here and watch it. Alright, so the train is almost full, and there we go. While we're on the way back, how's pollution? Okay, that, that looks alright. I think I pushed things back far enough. Yeah, that's good. However, this is the desert, which doesn't absorb much pollution, so that might spread further, given a bit more time. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Damn it. I told you to remind me to put the radars down. You didn't listen. Okay. Okay, unloads nice and quickly because of the stack inserters. I'm going to take the train back and put the radars down. Um, but we should be able to keep an eye on the radars this end to make sure that everything is working. And it seems to be. Alright, the train did f um, fill nice and quickly this end, but I was off putting radars down. Um, just two managed to cover the whole thing. Uh, let's look back up here. Um, so we should have some stone. Okay, it hasn't yet made its way as far as the stone bricks, but it's on its way. Okay, and... Oh, look at that timing. Second load comes in just as we are sort of finishing the first. Okay, and that train should go off on its own nicely. Okay. Whew. So, yeah, stone is making its way as far as the stone brick furnaces. 
Okay, so because stone brick takes two stone to make, whereas other smelted items only take the one item, so one iron ore to make one iron plate, this should be exactly half a belt of stone brick. Uh, meanwhile, the stone straight for the bus is right there. In the theory, they should make their way onto the bus at about the same time. Yeah, and here they are. Stone brick here, stone up there. So we'll start making some walls again, which means we can continue with the military science. And we'll start making some rails over here somewhere. Here. We'll continue making rails. Oh no, this one is stopped because... Actually, purple science is backed up. Um, but... So how far back up the bus do stone bricks go? Okay, so stone bricks stop here on the bus. Apparently I've prioritised walls. I'm sure I was doing that for some reason. But I don't need to do that now because I have plenty of stone. So we can do a little bit more science. There we go. Did I miss one? Yes, I missed the follower robot cam. Okay. So, yeah, I am going to leave it there for this episode. I have been recording for nearly four hours. It's been a particularly long one for me. Uh, next episode, I, I, don't, I don't even want to think what we're going to do next episode at this point. We'll see. Um, but for there, I will leave it. I will say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon.